What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Kerbal Space Program. Uh, when we left off, we had attempted to go to Duna, and it didn't work out too well. Uh, we ended up doing a quick shot over to Minmus with one of the labs. So my next goal is to try and get one of these labs on to Duna. Now, I know we just did the Minmus one, and there's still a ship up there and all that kind of stuff, and we'll get to that. Um, honestly, I started playing around with these new fuel tanks and thrusters. Uh, this one's set up in an asparagus, but then I found these guys, right? Now, I don't know that we got any boosters last time, like the solid fuel boosters. Um, all it gave us was these, and so these are like 1,500 thrust, and these are like 2,000 or something. Now, these aren't set up in an asparagus. I just wanted them as kind of a dead thrust through the, the main of the atmosphere. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I, I might blow up, and especially since I did this whole um, four-pillar thing again, hoping that it wouldn't tip us like it did last time. If it does, I, I, don't, know. I don't know. Might just not be able to do that. Or we don't have enough thrust to lift this massive behemoth. Hmm. Well, that's something I didn't anticipate. Okay, so what I did was um, I switched out. I took the bottom tier off because I don't even know if I'll need that or not. It was honestly just so I could try both thrusters. Um, so then I got the idea, well, if I took the bottom half off to minimize the weight, could I just use the newer, bigger thrusters? So we're going to try it, but I'm not entirely confident it's going to work because they did this, like... I don't know if you can see it or not because of the view, but they did this clipping thing where the game let it connect, but the thrusters are kind of intertwined. Um, so I don't know if this will work or fail miserably. I like the sound of them, though. That is cool. Okay, and so far we're not getting too much of a wobble or a tip thing, I don't think. We are overheating, that's not good. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> okay, so here's my next attempt, and I'll admit this is a bit more creative than my usual stuff. Uh, what I did was I put this guy in the center, um, and put the main sails on the outer ring, but because there was some distance between them and the other one, I put some extra fuel tanks down here to see if it would help compensate for... Um, the, the less thrusting type thing. I don't know what you'd call that. Let's do a quick save real, real quick. Now we are going a little bit slower. Noticeably slower. I don't know if it's because of the weight of these extra tanks or if it's because of the lack of thrust from the mainsails compared to these other ones. The question will be when we drop one of these, are we okay? Okay, that's already empty. And it was because these were clipping into the other one. Okay, see, we're slowing down again. I might not be able to use these extra fuel tanks. We're not turning, which is good, or spinning or anything, but we are losing some of that speed, which isn't really that good. that we can at least keep the, uh, like I've said many times before, that we can at least keep the center one for um, burns and maneuvers and stuff. 
I should have really put RCS thrusters down here to help it turn and maneuver better, but oh well. What are you gonna do? Now here's another question that I have for all of the Kerbal, Kerbal gurus out there. Is if I'm gonna go to what is this thing? Oh, the Land Rover. If I'm gonna go to Duna, right? Do I need to do a gravity turn or not, or would you just go straight out? Like I'm going to this time, but I just wonder if you need to or not. Okay, what is happening? I look like I'm spinning, but I'm not spinning. Now I'm getting all screwed up here. What's going on? some kind of weird thing here. What's my apo looking like? 25? I'd like to roll over, but I don't know why I can't turn. Like, I'm holding the Q button to rotate, and it's not rotating. Like, at all. I guess it is, it's just going really slow. Um, oh, man, this thing, yeah, I should have put RCS pods down at the bottom. That would have been smart. Um, now, some of you had mentioned, or I think so anyway, I could be wrong, I don't know. I don't know my stuff, is basically that you don't really have to go into an orbit for Duna, that you have to just kind of keep going and eventually you'll go into a solar orbit, I think is how it was explained to me. Kind of like this, that if we just keep burning prograde, eventually you go into like this, where you're in a the sun's orbit. Um, so I guess that's what we'll do. We'll just keep following the prograde symbol until we're horizontal. Or I suppose we could just roll it completely over. Let's just do that. We'll just roll it over on its side. Whoa. It's getting a little touchy here. We're still doing good on fuel, for the most part. We'll do a quick save. I don't know why it's rolling, though. I can't quite figure that one out. Let's, let's try and get it to stabilize here. Really? We're only at like a 67? I heard it. Please don't. Oh, come on! Man, there goes the rocket. <laughs> well, nuts. Dang it, man. Is it still burning? Where'd it go? It's kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Can we stabilize it? That's the question here. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, we're going to try this and see how badly this ends up going. Uh, pretty much all I did was I took the original one that wouldn't go and I just took a second set of these turbo dual booster things and then added fuel lines so that this tank provides fuel for both of them. 
Oh, I guess it would help if I uh, turn the engine on, wouldn't it? So let's see how bad this goes, right? Because this section is all one piece. Like, this isn't asparagus at all. So I'm not sure how this is going to go at all. Or why this is losing more fuel more than this one. See, that kind of stuff I don't get. Like, I basically did it all the exact same, so why is some losing fuel before others? Oh, those are the inner ones, as opposed to the outer ones, I guess? Maybe? So this wasn't actually half a bad idea, because we're going to have a full asparagus set to go with after this. I'm concerned about the speed, though that when these run out, this might not be enough to keep it. We might just have to jettison the thing. If we have to do that, though, the big thing is to cut the engines before you jettison. I should have done that last time, but it, I don't think it really would have mattered. Wow, we're almost to 4,000 already. That's awesome. 5,000. Almost, almost to 5,000. So if we start losing speed here, when these run out, we're going to cut it and then drop them. Yep. So that worked really well, in my opinion. Just to make sure, now that we're already in flight, Sure I did. Yep, okay, we have we have kerbals. Let's quick save this. Oh, um, let's get back in there. They, we were overheating. There, that should be good enough. Um let's go ahead and make Duna our target. We just won't worry about it for now. Wait, that's What's Ike? What was that? I'm confused. Don't confuse me, game. Okay. I think I'm just gonna burn until this set is gone and then I'll adjust and roll over. bad enough I can't control it, it's just kind of odd. Whoa. A little far. Okay, 36. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, I don't know if this is the right way to do this or not, but I'm basically just going to keep burning until this gets to 90 and then keep then roll over here until that gets to the horizontal mark or whatever. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Yeah, see how that drops? So now let's roll like this. I don't know if we should burn towards the target or not. Screw it, why not? What's the, I don't care. I don't care if this is right or not. We're just going to try it. I'm all about experimenting in this game. So we're doing pretty good as to the whole fuel thing. The only thing that concerns me is our, our apo height isn't that high. Like, we're, we're not pulling out of the atmosphere like I had hoped. I guess we will a little at a time, but it's just not going as as fast as I would have expected, but it's probably because I rolled over too soon, I would imagine. I'm no expert on this, I'm just doing stuff, so I probably messed that up. But we got these three big fuel tanks, which is nice. 
Still cranking. We're still climbing, which is good, so we'll at least be... Um... Or at least going in the right direction. Now... If okay, so it's about a minute... There's the orbital music, which is cool. The reason I'm following this... I'm not even sure if that's prograde or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the reason I'm following this target one is because I believe Duna... See how it's a little off? Like, I think... I don't think it's in... Oh, maybe it is. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm messing this up. I thought Duna was in a different plane. Like, it wasn't at the same angle as Kerbin, but I could be horribly wrong. Okay. Wow! We're in orbit now! Like a million apo. Although, actually, the parry would still be in the, you know, 20 or whatever, so we're not really... How's our fuel situation? Oh! Perfect timing, we're about to lose these. Alright, now let's just hope this guy's enough to get us where we need to go. Although I do have these, and they should be more adequately proportioned where we don't have the same problem we did last time. Oh, let's keep our resources tab open. Whoa! What was that? Oh, moon. Never mind. False alarm. Whoa, okay. Alright, quick save this. How's our fuel? Oh, we're doing good. I think. I think we're doing good. Um, let's turn on the brakes. Let's, let's stop these wheels. Um, and actually... I'll hit the 2 button and these should be disengaged. There we go. Okay, um, now we'll do a quick save. Let's extend the solar panels so we don't lose all of our power. I hope these don't run into any of the thrusters. I didn't really think about that. Okay, we look like we're gaining. So now we can do a little speed up. Just to get us out of here. I wonder... I, I really don't know if this will work or not, to be honest. I've never tried this before. Well, I did, but it was kind of a haphazard attempt that I really didn't have any idea what it would take or what I'm doing, so... Okay, now we should be in an orbit. Yay. Okay. So now, I guess we'll just set a point here like we normally do, since we're in a solar orbit and extend this until we get our connection nodes or whatever that is encounter nodes Whoop, like that um now how do i get them closer okay retro is making them further apart what about pro whoop pro they went away okay well that poses an issue no, I don't want to view the- Get out of my way! <sighs> Stupid thing. Stop it. Hmm. Well... I can't really tell how to get- Oh, there we go! Uh, let's just keep that going, because that seems to be working. Oops. Man, this one is so touchy, because it's- like, you're, you're so zoomed out. Uh, encounter, 381, 3 hour, 382, 2 hours. So that gives us a day to do our course corrections and get on target. Seems reasonable enough. Okay. Our panels are out, right? Yes, and we're not losing power. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's turn RCS on for a moment. Now, let me see. I need to figure out... We're going to be burning prograde here. Prograde is currently here, which would be this way. So if prograde is this way, which I think it is. I'm, I'm just estimating if I'm wrong. Don't pay any attention to me then. Um, but if prograde is this way, then I would need to go... 
over to this side. I'm trying to see if I can figure this out without the game telling me what to do. Like, if I can figure out where the target node is type of deal. So, let's see how good I did at an estimation. Not that good at all, apparently. Is it up here, then? Mm, nope, there it is. So I didn't go far enough. Oh, it was a little over. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Now, for all those out there that are, you know, Kerbal experts, would you burn towards the... If you didn't use a node to figure this out, would you just burn towards the target's retrograde? Is that what I'm seeing? Why is it still spinning? Please stop. This thing weighs... I really should have put RCS on the back. I totally forgot to do that. I just reloaded the old save. Um, but that's kind of messing me up right now. Oh, that's weird. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> little gimbal rocket. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong way, dummy. Luckily, we have 94 days before we're going to get to the node. That makes things helpful. Okay, come on. Just tap it in. Good enough? Eh, it's good enough. We're not doing micro calculations here, we're doing orbital ones. It'll be fine. Okay, quick save that now. Let's speed up and get to our target here. I don't know what that was. I hope it's not sending me back to Kerbin. I am on the sun, right? Okay. Ah, so technically I would have been right. I had to plan for where it would have been, though. Mm hmm. I see now. This is a long burn. I didn't look at that. It's a three-minute burn. That's pretty intense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, crap. 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 Crap on a cracker. We're off our time... Well, I guess burn, baby, burn, and we'll just see where we end up. Uh, I don't want to quick save it here, actually, because I may have missed my mark, so... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't overheat on me, I don't want to blow off my engine. I did, I don't know if I showed that in a video or not, but that is what happens when you overheat, for those of you that may not be aware. When your engine overheats, it blows up. It's very not fun. Oh, come on. Stop drifting away from the mark. Get on target. You're already off on your time, you can at least stay on target for me. I don't know why it's pulling again. Like, all of my other ships always do. They always wobble. I don't get it. I think it's close enough. I don't... I don't really think it should matter. Oh, Moho is the one that is off. And looks like Eve might be a little bit, but I guess Duna's on target. With the uh, same ellipsis, I mean... Oh no! Have enough fuel. I'm going to will you to have enough fuel. You have enough fuel. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. We're our uh, ellipsis here is getting getting wide. Stop moving. Stay where you're supposed to stay. Don't run out of fuel. There's a lot of moving parts in this. <laughs> Oh, I guess I could just watch this. 
to see what my fuel's doing, couldn't I? If I were smart. Come on, come on, come on. Stay on target. No! Seriously? Ah, oh, you suck. Alright. Well... <laughs> this should be interesting. Why am I rotating? Stop it! Dagnabbit, quit! Okay. Um... If we are burning this way... Let's... Orient ourselves. Don't autosave now. This might be all messed up. Oh, I have my panels out and everything. Oh, I guess that doesn't hurt them. I, some of you in the comments were saying that because there's no like atmosphere in space, there's no wind resistance, so the speed doesn't matter. You can have the, the panels out. I guess that makes sense. So let's line up horizontally here. Why is it taking so long to rotate? Seriously, I'm hitting the E button. Roll over. It's like it won't roll. It's so weird. Okay. Now see, this one actually stays relatively on target. Sort of, right as I said that it spins out of control. Stop it. Why does everything insist on spinning? Why? Just stop spinning! Is it really that hard to do? Why are you in a corkscrew right now? Quit spinning. I'm holding the opposite rotation, by the way. And it's still spinning. I don't know why all of my ships want to spin. I really don't. We are getting closer, right? Ever so slightly. Why? Why are you spinning? I even have RCS on and SAS and nothing will stop it from spinning. Why are you spinning? Just quit. I'm literally holding Q, like the opposite direction of the rotation. Wait, is it the op- I don't understand anymore. I don't know which way is up and which way is down. I feel like when you turn RCS on, the controls change. I don't know if that's true. But I feel like that's what happens. Like if you turn RCS on, then Q becomes the E rotation and I may have caused it to spin type of thing. I don't know that to be true, but it kind of seems that way. Now we're just flying out of control for no reason. Seriously, what is this ship doing? There's no reason to be spinning like this. I don't understand. I don't. I, I really don't. Like, I know I'm not the best, like, astronomical or astronautical, whatever, space guy in the world, but I don't see a reason why this should be spinning. Or just flying uncontrollably out of all over the place. It doesn't make sense. One of these days, I'm going to have enough fuel to get where I want to go the first time. <laughs> By the way. See? Now it's spinning the other way. Quit spinning! <laughs> like, that should be the catch line for this entire game. Like, the tag. You know, like Alien vs. Predators out in space, no one can hear you scream kind of thing. This should be stop spinning. Just stop. Everything. It always spins, no matter what you do. There's just a constant amount of spinning. Oh, good! Now it's going the wrong direction. I don't really even know what that means. I guess I need to be over on the other horizon. I just want to land on Duna, for crying out loud. Is that really too much to ask? Alright, you know what? I'm going to let it spin. I'm, I'm going to focus on aligning it correctly. Like, I have four thrusters facing the same direction. They should not 
rotate the thing everywhere. This makes no sense to me. I really don't understand. And why is it pulling away? Oh my gosh, this is so frustrating. I don't understand what's happening. I know this is a derpy way to do it, I'm just saying. I'm over here. It goes further. When it goes off into the orange, then it goes, like, away from it. Would you just stop spinning? That's all I ask. Oh, that's it. That's all. You don't have to be fuel efficient. You don't have to go where I want you to go. Just stop rotating. Now it's screw it. I don't even care. It's getting me over there, I think. Now it's way up by the hur- I don't understand what is happening right now. I built the darn thing, and I don't know why it's doing what it's doing. But it's getting worse. Like, the more I thrust, the more it just keeps going. Gosh, this is so annoying. Just once, I wish I could build a ship that would not spin wildly out of control every time you turn the engine on. I really don't think that's too much to ask. Oh, now in the blue it's going. I don't get it. I give up. I give up. I don't get it. I probably screwed this orbit way out of out of alignment. Yeah, I don't think I'll even run into it now, even if I get over there. Oh, and now it's... See, I don't understand this. One minute in the blue, it goes forward. The next minute in the blue, it goes backwards. It's like, make up your mind, dude. If it's in the blue, it's supposed to be going towards it, I, th <clears throat> I thought. It was like above the horizon or something. See, that retracts it. That retracts it. What the heck? Make up your mind. Which way is which? I really don't know up from down right now. And in case you're wondering, I'm just blindly turning on the thrusters. I have no concept of direction right now. I'm just pointing it going for it. I don't know what's happening. I really don't. Like, this whole it spins every time you thrust thing has just confused the crap out of me. I don't know which way I'm pointing. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be pointing. <laughs> like, yeah. I got nothing. I'm just guessing at this point. It seems like whenever I'm facing the orange is when it goes towards the planet. If I could actually stop spinning, I could find out. That would be cool. I'm going to laugh hysterically if this actually gets an encounter. You guys don't even know. This will be the derpiest way to get to a planet in the history of getting to planets. I do kind of feel like I should have gotten somewhere by now, though. I mean, come on. Oh, and I'm throwing this all out of whack. Okay, so I need to be facing this way, but in the orange if I want to bring it down. Maybe? Hey, there's our node. Hi, node. Wow, this is the most messed up approach of all time in the history of ever. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to point straight down and see if I can bring this... No, nope, that's the opposite of what I want to do. I want to go over here to the blue one 
and point it down, maybe. Nope, that's just retracted. I give up. I, I give up. Okay, so... I'm making one last attempt here with this guy. Um, I basically got it on course, and I was only like 30 minutes ahead instead of like hours or whatever it was. I did quick save it before I launched, but I just kind of want to see if maybe if I had launched it earlier or closer to the mark, if it would have worked. I don't know. I really don't. And I think I'm just going to not even bother trying to track the, the node marker. I think I'm just going to hold it in place and see how that works. I don't know. But I really don't understand why the the command pod thing seems to just spin wildly out of control um, when you try and, and do stuff. I don't I don't quite get it. I really don't. It just kinda seems like it seems like, I mean, I put four thrusters all pointing in the same direction. You would think there'd be no spinning. It would just push forward. So I don't quite get what that was about, unless there was too much... I wonder if the solar panels would throw it off, maybe. See, I don't know enough about the science of stuff, I guess, to know whether or not that would be a thing. Oh, crap. Again, don't overheat. I am getting closer. I don't know, man. This might actually work or not. I don't... can't tell. Nope. So close! Alright, so let's retract the solar panels. See if that does anything to help not throw us all out of whack. I mean, I don't see how these would spin you around everywhere. Okay. Now, if I want to be here... No. Let's do... Like this. Until we're horizontal. Now stop it right about there-ish. Bring it down a little bit more. Okay. I don't understand why it's rotating. There's nothing in its design that would make it do that. Or at least not that I'm aware of. Come on. Get on target for crying out loud. Is it really that hard? I hate spinning so much in this game. It drives me nuts. What really bothers me is I'm holding the opposite direction and it won't stop. Like, you would think that would be enough to keep it from spinning or counter the spinning, but no, it just keeps getting worse. And I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, this mission is... yeah. Okay, this is my last attempt at this particular mission. <sighs> so what I'm doing is I'm lining it up perfectly, in my opinion. Let's do a quick save here. And... Screw it, this is close enough. We're gonna do a burn, like, right on the money, and hope that fuel efficiency-wise, we do good enough that we won't run out of fuel before we get our encounter. It's the best I can do, basically. Wait a minute, what happened to the encounter? Are 
Are you kidding me? Where did it go? Maybe it's just not there? It was there the last three, four times I quick loaded it. Why did it go away now? Oh, I'm gonna be so mad if we get on the mark and it's not there anymore. Not happy. Here's a question that I have for for the, the the Kerbal experts. Couldn't you get your orbit into this ring where you're in the orbit path of Duna and then just burn retrograde to the target if your target is Duna? Wouldn't that eventually get you to basically you run into it at some point? Like you burn off your residual speeds or whatever to the point that like eventually it's gonna you're gonna run into it kind of thing I wonder don't die on me don't die on me don't die on me oh and we're overheating again lovely actually don't think it'll be a big deal because we're gonna run out of fuel before it blows up or anything now this almost seems worse. I'm getting even further away from the mark. Yeah, no. It's just not doable. We're ten seconds off. Right there. That's the sound of depression. Oh crap. Well, that happened. Alright, um, yeah, so that was kind of a failed attempt, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here, I believe. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, if you did, leave a like, um, and any advice you may have on how to get this guy to do not, or if it's even possible. I, I'm not thinking it's possible. Uh, you can tell me that, it won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!